Hey, where do you think you're going? You can't just run away from me like that. Tiffany, look at yourself. You're nothing but a pathetic loser who grew up with no father. You're so good at escaping from your problems, aren't you? You must have a lot of practice. Seriously, Cassie? You slapped me across the face, twice, and then you pushed my head into the pot roast that was still cooking. Do you have any idea how hot that was? Of course I'm going to run away from you if you do that to me. Well, I had to deal with some random beggar who trespassed on my property, so I did what anyone would do to protect their home. It was a natural reaction. I didn't care about what you had to say. Why should I waste my precious time listening to your nonsense? Besides, you offended me by bringing that filthy old doll. I hate dolls, they're creepy. And that doll you brought was especially ugly. The bear doll is my best friend. I always carry it with me wherever I go. I don't think I've ever left it behind for a long time. Come on, isn't it cute? I know you secretly like it. You are so childish, Tiffany. You need to grow up. All you can do is play with your stupid dolls. You have no other purpose in life. What are you good at? Nothing. You know why? Because you're poor. And poor people have no rights at all. <laughs> What? Really? Is that true? I've never heard of that before. I didn't know we had no rights. Of course it's true. It's common sense, sweetie. Didn't you learn anything in school? I didn't learn how to be so cruel and snobbish to each other. I learned how to be kind and compassionate to one another. I guess you learned something different from me, Cassie. Maybe in your fancy school where only rich people go and they teach you how to look down on everyone else. I'm not being cruel or snobbish or any other word that you can think of. Do you get it? I'm just telling you the harsh reality. These are all facts. Every poor person who grows up in a single mother household is a worthless piece of garbage. Well, you're not entirely wrong. I admit, I can be a bit lazy sometimes, so I won't deny your accusations completely, but I don't think that gives you the right to be so violent towards me. You shouldn't have pushed my face into a boiling hot pot roast. I get that you're angry, but can I be honest with you, Cassie? I think that someone who's willing to hurt another person for no good reason is much more of a worthless piece of garbage. But that's just my opinion. Oh, please, stop whining. You're fine. You didn't even get burned at all. Think of it as a nice little facial treatment. Besides, that pot roast was made with only the finest ingredients that you've never even heard of before, probably. You should be grateful that you got to taste it up close and personal, right? Yeah, the only reason I didn't get burned when you pushed my face into a boiling hot pot roast was because I spat out the water I had in my mouth to cool it down. It was kind of like a scene from a movie. If I hadn't done that, I'm pretty sure that you would have burned whoever you did it to. How the hell did you have water in your mouth? Who does that? Who just stands there with water in their mouth? Well, you know what they say about poor people. We have to be ready for anything. You never know what's going to happen next. But I've never met someone as toxic as you before. You're making me feel things I've never felt before. My whole body is tingling with excitement. I cannot believe you're real. Are you making fun of me? You've been making fun of me this whole time, haven't you? I'm not stupid, and I don't deserve to be ridiculed by someone like you. You better watch your mouth, young lady. What? No, I would never do that. I would never mock such a classy lady like you. <laughs> you have no right to laugh at me. Whatever. You poor people are powerless against us rich people. You just have to sit there and be miserable. I'll let you off the hook for today. It's not a big deal. Do you see how generous and loving I am? It's because I'm not poor, so I can handle more stress. I never have to worry about anything. Yeah, I'm not sure if someone who's so generous and loving would push someone's face into a scorching hot pot roast. Just saying, that kind of irrational, hypocritical behavior is what makes you so irresistible to me. You've really earned my admiration, Cassie. You know, you're a rare breed. You don't see this kind of nastiness anymore. You're like an endangered species. But don't worry, I'll take good care of you. You think you can get away with this? Just because I'm letting you speak your mind? You just said that you were so generous and loving, so you could take the hint, right? That you were so rich that you didn't have any stress? I'm just a poor, ignorant, low-class woman, you know? Just like you've been saying. You really should just let it go. Since you're such a wonderful person, there's no way that you'd let someone like me bother you, right? You're way too superior for that. Ugh, fine, whatever, I'll let it go. Because, like I said, I'm just so forgiving and kind, unlike you poor people. So let's get back to the point. What are you going to do? Tiffany, I wasn't paying attention at all. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean by that. I mean, if you mean, what am I going to do with my life? I'm
I'm going to make sure I live according to my values and my dreams while keeping an open mind and a positive outlook on life. Is that what you mean? No, you moron. I'm talking about your future as a human being. I'm talking about what you're going to do with Graham. Don't you think you owe him at least a goodbye before you dump him? I'll give you some time to say goodbye before you tell him that it's over. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about, Cassie? I'm not going to break up with Graham. What are you talking about? There's no way that I'd ever find another man as kind as him. I'd be a fool to let him go. He's mine, and I'm his. What? Are you kidding me? After all the trouble I went through to get rid of you, you're still not going to listen to me and break up with Graham? Sure. You slapped me twice and then pushed my face into a burning hot pot roast that I totally cooled down with water, like a boss. But you never said anything against Graham and me getting married. I would have noticed. You should be able to figure it out, you moron. How can you be so clueless? You must be really dumb. I feel sorry for you. Graham must be a saint to put up with you. Yeah, you're right. I'm slow, and I want to end this conversation right now. So yeah, thanks for your nice words. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I apologize for being so slow. I'm so slow that I can hardly type these words on my phone. Don't you dare move. You will break up with my precious son. Do you hear me? You will never see him again after you say goodbye. Break up with him? I'm sorry. That sentence was too long and complicated for me. Anyway, bye. Hey Tiffany, how are you doing? I just wanted to catch up with you and mom. Are you sure everything went well? My mom has been sending me some really nasty texts. And from what I can tell, you two haven't resolved anything at all. If anything, seems like you two are at each other's throats. I mean, for me, it was pretty awesome. I had no trouble getting along with her, so yeah, it was a blast. Besides, you already warned me that she was a tough nut to crack, so I was prepared for some pushback. No big deal. I knew it was too good to be true. I'm so sorry about that. I should have gone with you to see her like I offered. Can you tell me what really happened without leaving anything out? Ugh, I don't want to spoil the fun by just telling you what happened. That would be boring. Why don't we watch the video that I secretly recorded at her house together? Huh? Come on, it'll be hilarious. I have to say, she almost got me there. Not gonna lie. I was ready to smack her, but I held back. Graham, what is wrong with your mother? What did she do to make you so angry? Ah, uh, nothing much. Just enough to make me be a sarcastic jerk right back to her. But I was this close to throwing down with her. Seriously, Graham, you're overreacting. Where's your dad, by the way? I've heard such good things about your father that I was really excited to meet him, but... Dad is on a business trip right now, and he won't be back in the States until the end of next week. He's always traveling abroad for work, so... Ugh, I see. I think I get it now. The reason that she picked that time and day, and how she said she wanted to have a girl talk and made you stay away, was all because she wanted to be a huge bitch to me. It's all clear to me now. The pieces are falling into place. Yeah, the moment that mom found out that you grew up in a single mother household, she acted weird. So I knew something was up. I figured she would try something. I just didn't know what she would do. I need to see that video now. I know she's your mom, and I really shouldn't be badmouthing my fiancé's mother like this. But Jesus, she's just so messed up in the head. I mean, I know mother-in-law problems are common, but oh my god. You realize she should be behind bars for what she did, right? It's plain assault and battery. She should be in cuffs. Wait, what? Assault and battery? What the hell did my mom do to you? Whatever. My point is, I think I'm going to go to the cops and file a report against her. So I'll be home soon, okay? Just need to swing by her place real quick. Have some popcorn ready at our place so we can watch your mom in action. It'll be a riot. Dude, this isn't a joke. How can you be so casual about her attacking you? Tiffany, have you broken up with Graham yet? I've been waiting for your text confirming your split. I would really appreciate it if you just got it over with. Because every second you waste with him is another second that my son could be finding a better match. Also, it makes me sick to think that we're even remotely related to each other. I want to keep that kind of connection with you to a minimum. I'm sorry. I think I told you before that I don't understand when you use big hard words in long sentences. I wish I was as smart as you. Anyway, more exciting news. I'm going to press charges against you. I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about pressing charges, Tiffany? 
Well, let me explain it to you real quick. I think that what you did to me was pretty awful and should be punished by the law. I don't think I'll have any trouble proving that it was assault and battery. So I decided to press charges against you to see what happens. I'm also going to sue you for mental and physical damage. This is a first for me. Exciting. Wait, I think you're making a big deal out of nothing, Tiffany. It's not that serious. You know that courts cost a lot of money, right? It's not like a walk in the park kind of money either. Oh, the one and only Bank of Graham said that he would pay for this whole lawsuit. So don't you worry about my money. Your son has my back. Not that I would really need that kind of help. I make more than enough money to send your saggy ass to jail. Think of Graham. Wait, hold on. I'm not following you. What are you saying? Are you telling me that Graham is on your side after this whole thing? That he would rather betray his own mother? Well, yeah, of course. He's on my side. Why wouldn't he be? That's gross. Why are you telling me that? Besides, there were only two people in that house. It was just you and me. It doesn't matter if you sue me or I sue you. There's no proof of any fight at all. So you can't say I did anything to you. Oh, don't worry about the proof part of things. I've already recorded the important parts. Maybe I should post it on YouTube. Wait, what? Yeah, I was on high alert. The moment you said something about a chat with just us girls, you really think I would go in there unarmed after hearing Graham talk about you? I could tell that you were a crappy parent. So I knew I had to go in there expecting some kind of toxic monster. And sure enough, you were just as much of a monster as I thought. Well, to be honest, you went beyond what I thought. But who would expect your fiancé's mother to shove your face into a pot roast? Hold on a second. Stop talking. What are you talking about recording the whole thing? Where was the camera? You're lying. Oh, come on. You saw it. Remember my adorable snuggle buddy, Mr. Teddy Bear? That teddy bear? You've got to be joking. I think I told you before, too, that Teddy Bear has been with me for a long time, keeping me safe. He never misses anything that what happens and always has my back. You bet that he saw and remembered everything that went down today from start to finish. He's got a photographic memory, too. Imagine if I went to the cops, pressed charges against you, and then sued you using all the evidence in Teddy's fuzzy little head. I don't think you could meet Mr. Teddy in court. Wait, hold on a minute there, Tiffany. That was just a joke, a prank. You know how it is on YouTube. It's a bad habit I have of pranking people. I didn't mean any harm, you know? It was all in good fun. All in good fun, huh? So, in good fun, you decided to shove my face into a boiling pot roast? Of course, dear. I would love to have you in our family. You and Graham should have a wonderful marriage together. And I want you two to be happy. That's enough, right? I was just a little bit upset because I had some poor trash who was raised by a single mother who also happened to be broke come into my house. The whole slapping thing was just something that happens among family members. So you can just forget about pressing charges against me, okay? Actually, the police just took my paperwork and they're done with it, so my work here is done. Wait, what? Why would you do that to me? I just said a second ago that I was fine with you and Graham getting married. I don't have any common sense like you said. So to me, it was just a courtesy to say hi to you. But I was going to marry Graham, with or without your approval. Don't worry, I love Graham, and he loves me. We love each other very much. So we're going to get married, simple as that. Then we're going to be family, right? I'm going to be your lovely mother-in-law, don't you get it? And yet you press charges against me. You want your own mother-in-law to be a criminal? Come on, Tiffany. I didn't make you a criminal, Cassie. I would never do that. You're right, you are my lovely mother-in-law. But then, you had to go and make yourself a felon. Why would you do that to your family? Because I... Well, you wouldn't have done that if you had known that the camera was on, right? Of course not. People like you hate when everyone sees how rotten they really are. You better watch out for the Care Bear's eyes. You never know who's watching. Take this as a life lesson, Cassie. I think you need it. Tiffany, please just wait a moment. Ah, uh, I know. Graham, sweetie, I need you to convince Tiffany to take her report back and file the charges against me, okay? I can't have that. Convince her? I'm pretty sure she has every right to file charges against you. I actually watched the video too. Mom, you seriously went way too far this time. I know, I was in the wrong, sweetie. You're completely right. But you have to understand that she was also mocking me the whole time, making a fool out of me. And the attitude... My gosh, the attitude was horrible the whole time. I just can't have this go down in the records as me just being in the wrong. 
she was also in the wrong. I mean, okay, yes, Cassie can be an oddball and sometimes a little too sarcastic. But Jesus, mom, that does not give you an excuse to literally be physically violent towards her. Besides, you chose a specific date and time to call her up. I know what you did that now, mom. Shame on you. I mean, that's true and all, but come on. Think about it a little bit. There's a good reason. I'm sorry, but dad and all the relatives are gonna find out about this. I'm not gonna let this go. What? Why would you do such a thing? Don't do that, Graham, please. Doing it will just blow things further out of proportion than they already are. No, I'm going to tell them. I've never really appreciated the part where you're so judgmental of people, mom. I've grown tired of listening to it and then this had to happen. I think it's also our fault for letting you say and do whatever you want without actually getting punished for your actions. We can't just blame you. You're right. We need to let the relatives know about it. You need to be served justice and punished for a change. Why? No, I don't want that. Please, no, I'm begging you. Okay, you can tell them about this. But please, you can't show them the video. That's not okay. Just please, just this once. I'm begging you. Yeah, I'm gonna show them the video because it's proof that no one is exaggerating or anything. It's the fairest way to get the point across so that no one is treated unfairly. Mom, you have to understand. You need to accept everything that's going to happen because it's happening as a result of your actions. If you're an adult, you will understand and accept it. I also want you to know that I don't like doing this. Just accept this and use this as a chance to turn things. Why? Why the hell do I have to pay for all of this when that poor bitch is the one that fought here? She's so lucky that people in the wealthy class are even letting her eat at all. I was just helping her eat, is all. God, how can you do this to your own mother? It is all her fault. Ah, so there's the truth. I see there's no getting through to you now. I'm sorry, but I have nothing else to talk to you about. I hope you live a happy life and you're able to turn things around. Wait, hang on. Hey, Cassie, how are you holding up? Are you doing all right? If you want, I'll pack up your shit. I'm actually really good at packing. And I've got so much time on my hands, you know, without being investigated and all. You little. How much are you going to mock me before you're finally satisfied, huh? Why are you bullying me like this? I mean, come on, I'm not ruthless. You're packing your things all on your own, right? No one should have to do that all by themselves. And I always wanted a tough father-in-law, but he went above and beyond. He said, get the hell out of my house. Women are words from an angel. You must have really been surprised by that video. How kind are you to everyone else? Literally, no one was expecting you to be that bad. Ugh, damn you. I also heard from Graham how the relatives reacted. By the way, did I tell you? He said they were petrified watching you assault your own son's fiance. You apparently don't have the balls to just stay at the house when everyone is judging the crap out of you. I probably wouldn't be able to be around all the judgment either. I'm actually really worried, considering you just lost everyone's support and if you realized how lonely you are after pushing everyone away and you're packing alone. It's all your fault. I didn't do anything wrong. If you just had shut up and listened to me and stayed in your own poor lane, then none of this would have happened. It's not my fault. Jesus, you're like a broken record, poor lady. I'll just let you keep talking. But I'm curious, where are you planning on living from now on? It's not like you have any money of your own, right? Mrs. Wealthy Class Lady. You're literally losing your own home. The place that you used to call yours with all your memories. Gone. Poof. Shut up. I have a few people I can think of. People that are way too powerful for the likes of you to understand. I have at least a couple people. Oh, wait. Hang on. I'm hearing news that your relatives have actually cut ties with you completely. So, your friends in high places must be completely unrelated to you, huh? Or are you just bullshitting like you usually do? Come on, Cassie. Let's face reality together. Say it with me. I have no more friends, no money, no family. No one is on my side, and I am all alone. What? I'm not going to let you go so easily either. I'm going to sue you for every penny and dime that I need for my treatment. It doesn't stop there either. You're going to pay for all my emotional damage too. I kind of understand where you're coming from, Cassie. You know, some lowlife like me being with such a classy young man like your son. Although, 
I heard that you were also very poor and you slept with some random rich guy, got pregnant and suddenly became right, right? And yet you have the audacity, even after knowing how much of a struggle it can be to make fun of people. You really are a work of art. Wait, what? How could you know that? There's no way you should know all of that. I kind of figured that that was the case, but who knew? I checked up on my sources and they confirmed my suspicions. Who knew that my hunch was so accurate? I didn't realize how good I was at predicting the future. I want to tell you the truth. Ever since I was young, I grew up in the slums and in my house. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I don't give a shit about your upcoming at all. You can keep that all to yourself. Why the hell do I have to waste my valuable time listening to you ramble on about nothing? After that, I sued Cassie like I said I would. I got a huge amount of money thanks to the justice system. She had to borrow a lot of money to pay me off, so she ended up with no job, no trust, and no house. She must have been miserable and hopeless. She was arrested for aggravated assault, and now she's in one of the state's prisons. I guess it's not too bad since she has a roof over her head instead of living on the streets, but who knows how she feels, right? She used to be a star, a hero full of pride, but now she has to live in a small wet cell with other inmates who would love to push her face into a hot pot roast. Whatever, good luck with that. I, on the other hand, married Graham without any problems and things moved so fast. I had a child and I live every day with joy and hope for the future. Graham and I are working hard to make sure our child grows up in a bright and happy home with no negativity or judgment. To be honest, I married someone very rich too, so I should mention that. But I have to make sure that I don't go crazy like Cassie did, you know? I repeat nice little mantras every day to remind myself that I don't want to be like that mad woman.